Welcome to modeling and documentation of heritage buildings using Revit, AutoCAD, and Photoshop, sample casing one of Asmara's iconic building, Teatalero. But before I go into it, let me begin with the background information about Eritrea in general. As you can see it in this world map, Eritrea is found in the Horn of Africa, or more specifically, in the Northeast Africa, surrounding by Sudan on the west, Red Sea in the east, and Ethiopia and Djibouti in the south. And you can see its administrative classification in here. Its capital city Asmara, in which now is a World Heritage Site, is found in the central region. And between 1890 and 1941, Eritrea was an Italian colony. Some of the many modernist futuristic buildings in Asmara that were realized during that time include Regional Government Office, but we all know it by its original name, Komasareta del Hamasen, designed by Paolo Revilio. He was an administrator of Masawa during Italian colonization. By the way, I'm just showing these stunning buildings of Asmara in no particular order. Okay, second one is Valletta building, and still called by its original name, Palazzo Valletta. It was designed for Italian businessman, Santo Valletta. Third, Post Office Administration. Now this building is a house for Post Office Administration, but its original function was 1. Tribunal, 2. Treasury, and Post and Telegraph Office in different times. 4. Zizendamare. Its original name was Beit Christian, it means home for Christians. These are the architects that contribute their design to the church in different times. The original was replaced in 1920 by design provided by Gallo, and in 1938 again, a new church similar to style and form to Gallo's replaced the church in 1920. And the outline building, we call it the Gasalam in Tigrinya, at the entrance was designed by Eduardo Cavagnari. You can see in this image how the architects use indirect lighting to fill the space. This is absolutely beautiful. Now let's come to one of the many cinemas in Asmara, Cinema Roma, originally known as Cinema Ducks. You can see how beautiful its interior is in this image. Speaking of cinemas, this one is a famous cinema in Asmara, known as Teatro Asmara, and is probably the last work of Eduardo Cavagnari, who also designed the outline building of Ndamare, and he was the head of civil engineering at his time. This is University of Asmara Training Center now, but its original function was a bank. My Jahja, or La Fontana, the fountain, was designed by Geometra Lorenzo Azzoni, and you can see how Lorenzo Azzoni's vocabulary in space was rich in the way he painted the space. And once you sit in there, you can experience the sensitivity and thinking that went into its design. And when we came to the heart of Asmara, we can experience this beautiful cathedral. Its original name was Cathedrale Emisione Cattolica. Sorry, I have to rhyme like Italians when I speak their language. <laughs> it's a beautiful language, by the way. Back in 1895, Cathedral was a small church, but was constructed in 1923 by architect Oreste Scanavini and took its current shape. You can see in these pictures the commanding skills of the architects. And the level of detail in here, it's second to none. Here comes the Grand Mosque now, original known as Al Khulafa Al Rashidin Mosque. You can see in this picture how illuminating its interior is. These are some of the many beautiful staircases in Asmara. But as I mentioned in the beginning, in this set of tutorials, I'm sample casing one of my personal favorites and my great inspiration, Fiatalero. So now, let's begin with the history behind this old stunning gas station. It all began in 1938 when engineer Giuseppe Petazzi submitted his designs to municipality of Asmara for approval. These are the scanned images of the original documents submitted for approval. The inverted beams originating in the hub of the building having above 2 meter height and diminishes their height to only 30 cm in 17 meter or 47 foot run. The inverted concrete wings hang unsupported by the column and provide shade for those working below. Back in the day, it was impossible engineering to construct a 30 meter or 97 foot span cantilever. And it was no wonder why Municipalita has some reservations in its structural integrity. And they told Petazi to include pillars to support the weight of the wing. So, to pass this reservation and for the design to be approved, Petazi has to include some wooden pillars. We can see it in this plan, in the front elevation, and also in the section view. And this brings us to the legend of Fiat. After approval, of course, after some years, the construction was finished with the wooden pillars in their intended place. Then Petaz held a gun to Foreman's head to force him to stick to his original plans and remove the wooden pillars. Under duress, the Foreman knocks down the wooden pillars 
and being petazim, he climbed and stood on one of the wings with a revolver against his head, as he vowed he would shoot himself if his masterpiece didn't hold together. He literally gambled his own life believing if the building is to collapse, it should collapse along with its designer. And now 8 years has passed and the cantilevered wings remain aloft till this day. For me I guess this is the love that someone should have towards his life's task. These are the models that we will arrive at the end of the lesson. And in the next lesson, I will begin using Photoshop for rectification of the images. And again, welcome to modeling and documentation of heritage buildings.